for a couple of jokes? We're not. We've had your back since day one. Tonight, we're kicking your ass. Oh, no! <laughs> Welcome back to the Wrestling Gremlin Podcast, Episode 10. I am Bobby, I'm here with Nick, and I'm sure someone in the background is Amanda. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, man, so this is try number three for Episode 10 because my internet provider is a piece of shit. Yeah, well, technology does fail us, Skynet. Yay. Yay. So, fuck, man. I, I know we went through two Raws going on to what's going on right now and two NXTs. Raw, I'm so disappointed in Raw the last two weeks. They had such a chance to build this up and be something. You know, and the pay per view itself looks really, really good, but all the builds were garbage. You know, even having like Charlotte lose to Paige, where's Paige on the pay per view? Why? I, I just don't understand it. Like, why, why is, like, Raw just lackluster the last two weeks, in your opinion? I think they're trying to just hold back a bunch of the fun stuff for the draft. Because you guys think this is, like, this is kind of them slowing down the train. It's a big build before we're going to break it all up. We're going to break up the band, man. We're going solo and boy groups. That makes a lot of sense. You know what I mean? They want to have all the excitement, all the ratings. But at the same time, do you want the ratings to drop so far before the draft where people are just like, fuck it, I'm not going to watch the draft because Raw's been so shitty the last couple weeks? No, because fuck it, it's the draft. People watch the NFL draft. It is the most boring fucking TV show I've ever seen. I, I, I watch court for more action. I do watch drafts. I'll give you that. And you know, I'm a fucking sports fanatic, so I guess that does make sense. I'll call you a hockey goon. I do love hockey. <laughs> and uh, as much as it pains me to say, congratulations to the Pittsburgh Penguins for beating our San Jose Sharks. I mean, it, it, it hurts me, but I'm really proud of our team to actually getting to the cup final. We didn't get to the – we didn't win it, but we got there. So also, you know, congratulations to the Sharks, you know, for making it so far this year. Yay, Sharks. Um, so on this episode we're going to be doing a very short little thing of raw because we don't give a shit about raw the last two weeks we will be talking in a good length about nxt takeover the end and also the the next beginning yeah the nxt episode that happened today and also we're going to do our predictions for money in the bank and our very special thing that we've been planning we're going to do the wrestling gremlins podcast draft you won well, on our first attempt at doing episode ten. You won the coin flip. So if you decided, you've had about a week to decide. Are we? Are you raw? Or are you SmackDown? Oh, I'm gonna take raw. You're taking raw. Going in raw, dog. Yeah, I'm gonna let you have the blue brand. I'm gonna have the blue ball brand. Okay. So, is there anything that you want to add towards the raw, the two raw episodes? You know, we saw Stephanie twerk, and I was hoping a baby would pop out, but. Nothing else really exciting happened. You know, the the second week, the second week they had the New Day and Enzo and Kaz in the same ring together, kind of cutting promos about Kofi's shoes, which was kind of lackluster in my opinion. Amanda has those shoes. Does she really? Uh, Jesus Christ, you better get her a life alert fucking alarm. (laughs) Yeah. I don't know. I was really excited to see a... uh, verbal jousting of wits yeah they kind of they tried to push the envelope saying you know francesca was like a chick and enzo pretty much banged her you know it just i don't know it seemed very childish to me but i mean at least they're kind of pushing the envelope a little bit more than just a pg show i guess yeah they well, look at it in certain ways they're they're getting there you know your feminine what was it the female personal massager on your head that was hilarious i actually well, thought yep. it was funny they're going though yeah we're doing yeah, that okay. talking about vibrators and dildos all right yeah, on the head. all right we're going back to the old ways i, I think it was funny old that, gods. i thought it was funny that kofi was like shaking his head up and down and making the whole horn just move around that, that was pretty entertaining yeah hmm. did you see the seth rollins sign this week the uh Seth Rollins is the Power Ranger Weasel Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I did see that. I did. That was actually really funny. That yeah, thing was awesome. There were some good signs this week. Yeah, you know, they're never going to be as good as they were as we were kids. You know, like... You know, you know, I don't see anymore. 
Huh. People like making like big ass drawings of the wrestlers that move. Like when The Rock was there, some kid I remember making like the eyebrow go up and the hands moving. I was like, that took hours of work. Now it's like Sharpie pen, 16 blank pieces of whiteboard with one shitty John Cena sign on the front. Make your own in there. You know, another thing, I mean, I think people are just getting lazy because, like, you know, you can make those rock signs, like you said, or you can just go online and make a fat head. You mean, what's easier? The fat heads rule. Yeah, it's just, it's really quick and easy. You pay like 20, 40 bucks, something like that, and you get a fat head. He's like, here you go. You know, I was thinking, man, if I ever, you know, if we ever go to a show together, I should make a stencil of like a wrestler and then write some stuff on it. That'd be kind of fun. Or back when they used to do the giant uh, sheet. Oh my god, yeah. Dude, just rocking the sheet poster. I think the last time I've seen a giant sheet one was uh, probably the money and – not money and bank, but the one night stand where it says if Cena wins, we riot when it was him versus RVD. That so, was awesome. Yeah, so that was that was a good pay-per-view. I really liked that. Unfortunately, they're never going to do that again because what are you going to do? Have another ECW thing where that's basically a dead brand? And uh, well, Most um, of them are dead. Yeah, um, yeah. And then WCW, like no one's gonna do that. So I, I don't know what they would do for a one night stand. I guess for a pay per view like that, probably something with Francesca. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Too bad Kelly but, Kelly is not around anymore. <laughs> oh, dude, I, I always forgot about the Kelly Kelly, and then the gratuitous nudity from Kelly Kelly. Do you know uh, – I was surprised to hear this. Well, I guess I can't be surprised because he banged basically almost every chick wrestler. But like, I guess CM Punk was uh, banging Kelly Kelly for a minute. Shocking. Yeah, I know, right? Wah, wah. <laughs> yeah. uh, on a bit of sad news, you know, other than Orlando, which is sad. But, yeah, that, that's really shitty. Uh, the dude who sang the DX theme. Yeah, yeah he died. died. Uh, well, let's think about all the sad things that's happened since we have our last podcast. Oh. No. Uh, well, no, I'm just going to list, 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 list it off really quick. Okay, that singer from The Voice died in Orlando. Yeah. The shooting in Orlando happened. Muhammad Ali died. Yeah. Kimbo Little died. Boy. Yep. And one that was really close and dear to my heart, Gordy Howe died. Gordy Howe did die. And the little boy got eaten by an alligator. Kind I was, was going to say that too, but I didn't know if you heard about that or not. Yeah. Dude, fucking Florida is not a place I want to be right now. I've been there once. I have no desire to go back. Yeah, I've never had a desire for Florida. It's not because it's a bad place. It was actually pretty cool. It was just like I hate humidity. And, dude, Maryland was too hot for me, like too humid for me for my taste, you know? And that wasn't bad as Florida. Florida Florida has bugs that will eat you. Yeah. Florida was like breathing out of a snorkel. You know what I mean? Like (laughs) you're just sitting there like, oh, my God, I can't breathe. There's moist air in the lungs. Yeah. You know, I have that with my sleep apnea machine. I don't need it when I'm just walking around. Fuck that. Um uh, I'm trying to think of anything else really significant happened on Raw. They had the AJ Styles, John Cena. They had a few things where, oh, you bury guys like me. You know, that was you know, interesting. And then on the next week, John Cena brought up, you know, PWG, Ring of Honor, and New Japan, which, you know, I, I've heard Ring of Honor and New Japan when CM Punk cut the pipe bomb promo. But from the, the, for, them, for him to bring up PWG, that was kind of interesting to me. Of course, no TNA, though. He said TNA. I don't believe he did. He did say TNA. I did not hear that. I'll take your word for it, but I haven't heard anything like that. I haven't rewatched Raw, though, but you I mean, I didn't hear him say TNA at all. I, they, I swear they, that was the first thing he said, whether it's TNA, Ring of Honor, P, PWG. I think he said PWG, Ring of Honor, and New Japan for Wrestling. I'm, uh, I'm almost positive. Well, we'll find out. Rewatch it. Even, Let us know next week. And even though, like, think about this, though. Like, when he first came back, they're like, yeah, he wrestled somewhere in Florida. They never said TNA before that either. They try to keep TNA far away from it. Like, even though they're not really competition, they are the competition, I guess. As minuscule that is. Hey, did you hear who fucking helped buy some of TNA? Yeah, Billy Corgan. Yeah, way to go smashing pumpkins. Despite all my rage, I'm just a jobber in a cage. <laughs> um, so you watched the Underground. wrestle one match. I remember he was actually trying to fund this, uh, was it Revolution Pro or something in Chicago? So I forget what in- a company he was trying to start up. But he was trying to start up a company in Chicago, too, a long time ago. But I guess that didn't really work out for him. Yes, I watched Lucha Underground, if that's what you're going to ask. Yes, how was Lucha Underground this week? Nick's Lucha uh, Underground uh, review. <laughs> Olay. Olay. Uh, 
It was cool. Uh, they they're setting up for their their WrestleMania Ultima, Ultima Lucha Dos. What are the main matches of that? Um, it's going to be Pentagon Junior versus the Monster Matanza for the title. How do you think that's going to go down? You think Matanza's going to win? Pentagon, or... No, Pentagon will win. Okay. It's time for Matanza to go away for a minute. He's ah. killed everything in there. And then he hurt Pentagon at the start of the story by breaking his back. He's already back, by the way, from a broken spine. Oh, man. He has better, <laughs> heal- he has better healing powers healing. than John oh, Cena. Yeah. <laughs> Six months, three weeks, bitch. What do you have? <laughs> we have a Nazi, Nazi Jesus. We have a ninja skeleton. They have an actual dragon that Would fight you, things. But if you had a ninja Nazi, wouldn't that be like in a skeleton? Wouldn't that be like just bringing up Adolf Hitler and then kind of teaching him some karate moves? No, no, I'd see it more like a Goebbels. <laughs> it's just Red Skull that learned some kicks. Dude, if he looked like Red Skull and was a ninja, like, as long as they didn't, like, put the armband on him, he'd probably sell really, really well. Yeah, you I mean, I really like Red Skull. I mean, I mean like, the whole southern seaboard market right there. If you had to have a match between two supervillains, like, who would you have? Since we're both comic nerds. Like a, like a wrestling match? Yeah. One or on just one. Like, a, like a superhero wrestling match? Superhero wrestling match. You can use your powers. You can use your fuck. And it's got to be villains? Well, I guess you can put whatever if you had a one-on-one thing. Um, I want to see Dr. Doom and Magneto go at it. That'd God be pretty damn it. God fun. damn you, because that's what I was going to say. Because that's the question I always ask everybody. Like, uh, when I used to live in, when I used to live <laughs> in Campbell. Like, if I want to see ultimate destruction, it's pretty much Dr. Doom and Magneto. Yeah. Or Apocalypse and Mr. Sinister going at it. Or mm-hmm. those two on a tag team against Apocalypse and Sinister. That'd be tight. Yeah, no, it's funny. Uh, when I used to live in Campbell, I'd always ask questions of people. Be like, okay, who would win in a fight? Boobity Boo versus Boobity Boo. And the one that was my favorite. Oh, was always, Boo. Yeah, shut up. Boobity Boo would win, right? No. Um, my favorite was always Dr. Doom and Magneto. Because everybody's like, oh, Magneto controls metal. He'll just crush Doom because a lot of his, you know, his mask and a lot of stuff's metal. But it's like, dude, you know Dr. Doom's so smart, he'll figure out some way not to let that happen. So... But we're getting way off topic. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so anything else on Lucha Underground this week? Um, so, let's see. Last week they had a nunchuck match, which was fucking rad. It sounded really interesting when you told me that. You should watch it. it just let alone, the match is fun, but the finish is really awesome because it's basically like a martial arts movie in live action. Like, the sounds and everything, just these super loud cracks every time they hit with the nunchuck. Mm-hmm. Um. So that looks pretty awesome. Um, they set up the match this week, which is the six to survive. So you had, they did a, a 12 man match, six, six on each side. The first team to win moves on to all fight each other the next week to make the number one contender. So Pentagon won that beat Ivelisse Prince or uh, King Cuerno. Cause Mil Muerte showed up and killed him. Cause he's now super Mil Muerte with red eyes. Hmm. Um, he's gonna, they're gonna have like a hunter, hunter versus hunted match or some shit where it's gonna be super violent. That'll be awesome. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm a little stunned, so. No, that's my fine. Descri- my descriptions are terrible this week. I, I actually have some news on, uh, other wrestling industries. Um, for the first time ever in New Japan, they're gonna have a ladder match. Whoa. And it's going to be epic. It's going to be, I believe it's Tanahashi going against the champion, Kenny the Cleaner Omega. (laughs) Yeah, I'd like to really see that. Um, Unfortunately, it's almost impossible to get New Japan World because it's all in Japanese and it's so hard to figure out how to purchase it. I would love to see that match, so I'm going to look for it. And um, in Ring of Honor, they're actually having a pay-per-view. And the main event, I believe, is going to be... A rematch from last year's Best in the World of Jay Briscoe versus the champion Jay Lethal, which that match I thought was amazing when I got to see it last time. It was really, really good. I mean, I, I was watching and I was like in awe of how good that match was. Even though you know how good those guys are, it just like they just pulled everything out and it was amazing. Yeah. Uh, did we already talk about the the Ricochet Will Osprey match? I don't think I think we're going to, but you know, I mean, the episode we were trying to do didn't work. So, uh, what else? so uh, yeah, I saw that. 
backflip that uh, Ricochet did, man. I've never seen anything like that. I haven't had a chance to see the whole match yet, which I really want to do. And, but uh, just seeing a few clips, man, that shit looked nuts. Uh, they pulled it off of YouTube, though. Oh, did they? That sucks. Yeah, uh, I'm going to try to find another version. I tried to show it to some people. Because that, that match is like, I, the way I described it was Cirque du Soleil Pro Wrestling. Yeah. Um, it yeah. was just, it, like, the story they told was, like, two people that were way too good having to fight each other. Yeah. Um, I would say, I would say that um, you should watch out for those wrestlers, uh, you know, Osprey and, um, and Ricochet coming to WWE in the next the next few years, maybe months. I know. I know. Osprey has a two year deal because they, they wanted him for the uh, the cruiserweight challenge, and he's a two year deal with New Japan, so they weren't able to get him. Cruiserweight classic. Sorry, sorry, classic. It's classy, yo. Yeah, I actually forty five classy. There's a lot of really good wrestlers on there. Um, I, I am really I excited for this yet. So. I want I want uh, Kota Ibushi's on there, and I want to see him wrestle in there. That should be really good, you know. And you got Tommaso Ciampa and you know, Johnny, Johnny Gargano. Um, another one from Ring of Honor, Cedric Alexander is going to be in there, and I'm very excited to see him in a WWE ring. Um, That'll be interesting. I'm trying to think of other things that's happened this week. I know it was it yeah Adam Cole from a uh, Ring of Honor. He came down with pneumonia. That really sucks. He just he just turned and actually went to the Bullet Club, uh, the last yeah. interview they had, and now it's like he has pneumonia. So it's like, damn, dude, that's horrible timing. Yeah, fuck getting pneumonia and being a wrestler. Yeah, so hopefully he makes a full recovery, you know what I mean? Because he's a great wrestler. I'm surprised WWE hasn't signed him yet, and I know they want to. Just There's so many good wrestlers out there that WWE wants, and they don't, I, I'm surprised they haven't like just all tried to team up and make one really good company. You know, but I'm sure, you know, the Eagles or the egos at hand, they're not going to try to like, you know, to merge. Like if you had New Japan, Ring of Honor, who already worked together and TNA and maybe try to get some other like, you know, like PWG, all one company, dude, you can have a chance of going against WWE because by themselves, they have no chance. They don't have the money. No. All right. We're where? What are we talking about right now? Right now, we're actually getting into NXT TakeOver the end. This, you know, I mean, it wasn't the best nxt takeover but just like every other nxt takeover it was amazing it was still really really good in my eyes um the first match was cn his, making his debut against in my opinion one of the main guys who need to be pushed a lot more the perfect 10 ty dillinger what'd you think of this match ten, um, ten, ten. <laughs> it was cool i'm not really sold on cn i think I like Dillinger more because it took a second for that to catch, but when it did, I was like, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I like his music a lot. His music's really cool. His gimmick's great. Everybody's got really good music in NXT. You know what I've noticed about NXT, though, with all their musics? They always have a build-up and then a pause and then a kick-in. That's like that? cool. No, That's I'm, wrestling. I'm, I'm down with it. You know what I mean? But it's just like I see like every song. You know, There's always like Austin Aries, like music, 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 stop, kick into the song again. Finn Balor, like... Like the whole like song kicks in, you know. What I mean, um, everybody has that. It seems like you know Shinsuke Nakamura, you know, like um, they they all have it, but it's all really good music. Um, we'll get to the Shinsuke match in a minute. Um, mm. here's the one match, and it really pisses me off because I hear it from everybody. It was the greatest match of the night, and I didn't get to see it. I only saw like the outcome because my my internet. You I fucked just, up. You the, fucked up. Yeah, basically, I fucked up. Um, well, no, Mediacom, you fucked up. Um, they, uh, it was The Revival versus uh, American Alpha. I'm going to let you cover this because you got to see it. My internet, when I went to my 4G on my phone, because I tried to watch it on my PS3, and it just was crapping out on me. So I said, fuck it, I'm going to watch it on my phone. As soon as I got it on my phone on my 4G, all I saw was Dash and Dawson holding the belts and saying they're the winner. And I'm like, motherfucker, like, I missed the match. So go ahead. Um... It was excellent, man. I mean, it the crowd was hot for that thing. And people were shocked. They silenced the crowd with their win. That was for sure. But uh, it, it sold really well for, for American Alpha. That was a team that can do anything. Like, even with them losing, they, they still won. Like, the crowd didn't be like, oh, these guys are a bunch of fucking chumps. They're stupid and lame, and they look like Kurt Angle bitches and yada, yada, yada. 
I'm happy you said Kurt Angle. Who do you think made a faster transition into being a professional wrestler, Kurt Angle or um, or Gable? Kurt Angle had the charisma coming out the gate. Yeah. Like, he was really good on the mic and he <laughs> fucking ate his guts. Yeah. I mean, I, I, it's hard to compare anyone to Kurt Angle, you know what I mean, because he's so amazing. But if you really think about it, if anyone can do it, it's Gable because he actually had the Olympic background as well. Yeah, but he lost. That's true. Kurt Angle won with a broken neck. Yeah, so Kurt Angle still like. As the thing is, like, as I got older in wrestling, guys like Kurt Angle, who I hated as a kid, I hated Kurt Angle as a kid. I want to punch him in his little mouth every time. <laughs> I'm like beat him with his gold medals, but he uh, throughout his career, like he just he's great as a heel. He's like Jericho, like. He picks up right where he left off. If he were to come back today and they just kind of let him cut loose, he'd, he'd be just as good as Jericho. Not he, as good as Jericho, because Jericho's phenomenal right now. Yeah, Jericho's always been really good, and either way he goes, he could be a heel or a face, and he's always amazing. Um, the thing about Kurt Angle is, like, if you remember him in WWE when he was a heel, you know, doing his thing, people hated him, but that was great. I never felt that he ever hit that heel point in TNA. Like, he's made the face thing, like, you like the face of their company, but I've never seen him really as that heel that he was in WWE. Because he's bald. Well, he was bald in WWE for a while, too, when he lost the yeah, hair match. I like the best when he had the hair. Yeah. Because he was swarmy. Like, he just looked like a little... He reminds me of the kid from, um... I think he's on Workaholics. Hmm... I don't remember. What, like, oh, Anders? Was, Anders? I think so. The the clean-cut guy on the crew? Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. No, no, whatever. I, I guess we'll go with Angle because, like, I mean, Angle's amazing. I can't take anything away, any, anything away from Kurt Angle. He's a fucking machine. He's a beast. I mean, he drinks better than we do, I guess, supposedly. <laughs> All the DUIs he has. Oh, yeah. I think he has, like, five DUIs, something crazy like that. Yeah. Some he can same. afford a driver. I know, right? Well, I'm not, I'm not, he, I don't know, man. He's working for TNA. <laughs> they don't pay. They don't pay people. I, I heard a joke that saying they were paying them in food stamps. So I was laughing about that. Ouch. Yeah, I'm sure it's not true. Speaking of TNA, did did you ever get to see that uh, that promo between Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy? Or uh, did it's magical, dude. Broken, it's... broken Matt Hardy versus broken. brother, brother Nero. <laughs> dude, the the voice is the best. I don't think. Why? He ever... I don't think he knows what accent to go with half the time. Yeah, it's it's great. To me, it is the most pro wrestling thing I have seen in a while. Yeah, it, it was pretty I'm just funny. Like, can, only the Hardy Boys can do that. The Hardy Boys. The Hardy Boys. <laughs> um, well, I wish they had did that, like the Hardy Boy Adventures. <laughs> oh, look at Jeff finding a clue. <laughs> I found a clue. <laughs> it's in my pants, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a twist of fate, Matt. <laughs> twist of fate. It, it's the whisper in the wind. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Um, but, no, it's funny because if I think if TNA had a better creative out, like, you know, outreach of, like, what they can do. Like, what do you have, mean better creative? Have you seen that promo? It's fucking... <laughs> but, okay, minus that horrible fucking promo. Like, it's it's not had, horrible. It was pretty bad, dude. It was pretty bad. <laughs> um, but, like, you think about it. They have some really good wrestlers. They got make some... Darren Young great against good? No, not by any stretch. I, I, love Bob, <laughs> I love Bob Backlund in that, though, by the way. Bob Backlund's the best part of that. That needs to go away. <laughs> it does. And when's he going to come up? I don't even understand. Like, when's he coming up to make him great again or for once, you know? <laughs> when Trump wins. Oh, my God. Um, I but no, back to TNA, like, they have a lot of really good wrestlers like EC3, Mike Bennett, you know, um, Drew Galloway. They have a lot of really good wrestlers. It just seems like no one cares. I think they've, like, the boat has sank so much, they've already just dropped off. They just don't care. Besides the TNA soldiers out there. Dude, they're strong. They're like juggalos. Oh, they are. Dude, that's the, probably the best comparison I've ever heard of that, to be honest. God. Dude, so I was I, I had like the guilty pleasure of music documentaries, and Amazon Prime just put up like every juggalo documentary and film and 
nonsense, right? I think I'd want to vomit out of my ears and my eyes at the same time if I watched that. So I, well, so I started watching one of them just because I'm like, this has got to be great. Mostly because you're a hidden juggalo, undercover juggalo. Yeah, <laughs> undercover juggalo. When I take off my face, it's all clown makeup. Dude, you see, your face is just makeup under makeup. <laughs> yeah, it's makeup on makeup on makeup. Yeah. You don't know what the real me looks like anymore. Many people don't know this, but you are a movie makeup artist. No, I'm not. No, you were once. And no, I, I wasn't. <laughs> no, you, know, you were. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> hey, I think that's a, actually. I, a, I, th- I think that's a talent, man. I think that's really cool. Like I've seen someone like you know, like you you. Sh- I always listen to Andre, Andre and Rachel. You did their zombie for the zombie walk. Their face. I thought that looked really sick. I mean, you have talent. I'll give you. Credit. I know, just uh, not in movie makeup. <laughs> <laughs> is, that why you got out of that, is that why you got out of that game? You're like, oh, no, I'm out. <laughs> Something like that. Mm. This is not about wrestling, Bobby. Hey, what are you talking about? Look at Papa Shango. He had fucking wrestling makeup. Look at the Hardys. Hey, don't you put that voodoo on me. <laughs> don't you put that goose on me. Get that Bobby. voodoo away from me, Papa Shango. <laughs> Who'd win in a fight, Papa Shango or the Godfather or Kamu Mustafa in a three-way triple threat match? <laughs> Nobody. The boogeyman shows up and beats them all. <laughs> oh, <laughs> All right, so let's just get back to, uh, back to NXT. Um, so, yeah, America Alpha lost. I kind of thought they were going to win, but, you know what I mean? If they're going to bring them up, that's a good way of going out. And then, yeah, uh, going, Well, they got leveled, actually. Yeah, they got fucked up uh, by the, uh, the authors, authors of Pain. Of pain. It was kind of shitty that people didn't know who Paul Ellering was. I mean, Dude. he's been gone for so long, though. I guess that makes <laughs> sense. I mean, it's been a minute. And he's just a normal looking bald dude. He doesn't really have like a distinctive look to him, you know? So yeah, I thought like Jimmy Hart came kicking out there yelling at everybody. <laughs> big old megaphone. Yo, the authors of pain! It's a pain! <laughs> him just wearing a big ass jacket saying like, authors of pain on it. Uh, but yeah, no, the whole Legion of Doom thing that I guess they're trying to trademark, I'm hoping it's not for them. I really hope not, because that's going to bury him before it starts. No, go with authors of pain. Yeah, it's a cool name. I like it. If you start, call- yeah, dude, their music's awesome. Yeah, their videos are cool too. Like when they came out today, that was, that was really cool. Probably the same dude who did Wyatt's videos. Probably more likely. <laughs> um, also, the ne- next match was I thought was, in my opinion, for what I saw, I thought it was the match of the night. But I needed to see the American Alpha revi- uh, revival match was uh, Austin Aries for Shinsuke Nakamura. Yeah, and people said it was slow, but I think you have to build, and I think I like the build to that, especially like you know the thing he dropped him on the side of the apron was really cool. The die. Oh, outside. that thing looked awful. I haven't seen a Death Valley driver in a minute. Yeah, that looked really good. You know, and the what is it, Kinshasa? Like the, whatever the kick so Shinkasa. Kinshasa. But uh, what's the kick? What's oh the my kick? a. Well, what's, what's the call? What do they call it in NXT now though? Kin Sasha. Yeah, Kinshasa. Yeah, Dude, that fucking kick looks so awesome. I, I love it. Oh my a. Kumbaye, kumbaye, kumbaye. Um, oh my, yeah, whatever. Um, still, it was really awesome. B, Bobby, B, B. Oh my, <laughs> like, the, like the grade I'll never get in my life. <laughs> B. I see you have high aspirations about your shitty self. <laughs> oh, I mean, I hate myself. <laughs> if I go to therapy, <laughs> I think we're in therapy right now. <laughs> I hope so. I wish you were my therapist with those Shawn Michaels heart-shaped glasses. <laughs> Drinking some kind of booze on the side. Um, no, oh, no booze tonight. No booze it's for you? It's, it's a week night. You're an adult. Um, yeah. What would you think of the match, though? What did you think? I liked it. I liked seeing the, the Shinsuke peril, really. Because, I mean, every other match he's had has pretty much been him showing up, taking a couple of licks, and then beating the holy fuck out of somebody. Yeah. Doesn't do in his spots, doing all the fun little crowd poppers. But, like, with Austin Aries, like, he's he's a wrestler. He can fucking go with Nakamura. Greatest man that ever lived. Yeah, he's also the tiniest man that ever lived. <laughs> I want to put him in my pocket. <laughs> Dude, he's fucking, like, itty-bitty. Yeah, but he's Nak- amazing. I mean, Nakamura's big, but damn... Yeah, I mean, it's funny, too, because when you see Finn Balor today with Nakamura, which we'll get to, you just, like, Nakamura's a tall dude. You can tell he's pretty he's tall. Six two. That's a pretty big dude. That's pretty crazy. He has a long... He's, like, all leg. He has those Andre legs, which are all legs. <laughs> just, like, lanky motherfucker. Yeah. Um, and after that was the women's title match, which I thought was really good between uh, Nia Jax and Asuka. 
I think my favorite part of this match was when Oscar got her down because Oscar was taking a beating for a while, which you never really see. Oscar uh, like, finally Oscar got her down to the ground, and all you see is that primal scream by Nia Jax, and then uh, Oscar runs off the ropes and just kicks her in the fucking head. I thought that was pretty impressive. I thought that showed me a lot from Nia Jax, where before I wasn't really impressed at all. I I pretty much once I saw the match with Bailey, I, I was like, okay, they figured they have a a, a new Brock Lesnar here. Yeah, because Oscar's gonna come up at some point. Nia Jax is the only viable person to beat her for the belt, unless Eva Marie beats her. Oh my God, where's she <laughs> been, by the way? Uh, probably as far away from t- TV cameras as they can get her right now. They just want to take pictures of her, not put her on video. Unless it's porn. Yeah, pretty much. She's uh, she's, she's the magazine seller. Yeah, and the. the- Basically, the woman face. Her and uh, uh, Mandy Rose. Yeah, I guess she's going to be off Total Divas next year or next uh, next season. Thank fuck. Yeah, her personality was a fucking. We get, what is it? We get Renee Garvey, Young, which is hot. Yeah, I'm excited for some Renee Young. That means more Dean Ambrose on Total Divas. I'm hoping so. Yeah. Dean not giving a fuck Ambrose. <laughs> Dean not giving a fuck and always drinking. Always. Always has a drink in his hand. He's my hero. No. <laughs> he is quite a hero. That was fun on Raw, I guess. That S.H.I.E.L.D. reunion of Dean Ambrose being the funny one, but the more put-together one. Roman Reigns is just a bully, and Seth is... Seth Rollins. Well, fucking Rollins. The yeah. powering for Weasel Jesus. Yeah, he, he basically knows how to get in people's heads and fucking do some sleazy-ass shit and do it, you know? Like, I love it. He does look pretty sleazy. Yeah, he looks like you catch something if you banged him. <laughs> which I'm sure Tina wouldn't mind because she really loves Seth Rollins. Like she even wrote on Facebook, she's like, "Damn, Seth Rollins has a really nice butt." And I'm like, "Oh, <laughs> thanks, babe." I'm sure, they all have really nice butts. They they do a lot of squats. That's true. That's why the girls have nice asses too. They all do squats. Um, you know what I noticed though about all, most of the female wrestlers now, uh, their legs are fucking massive. Compared to like Stacy Keebler and Trish Stratus and Lila, they all had like little pencil legs. Oh man, but Trish Stratus. <laughs> She's actually hinted at coming back for a match. She wants to be a heel though, which is kind of cool. I like that oh, idea. Yeah, I'm for a Trish Stratus heel. She's good at it. I think she was better as a heel than a face. Most people are better as heels as faces. They don't give as much of a shit. I don't know about that. There's a, I, there's a lot of people who are probably way better faces than heels. I couldn't see Sami Zayn be a heel. No, but El Generico can. I don't think so either. I don't think El Generico would be a good heel. Fine. Um, then Sami Zayn's like a John Cena, even though John Cena is technically a heel. I think John Cena would be a great heel if he actually turned. Look at Hogan. Hogan was like, you never thought he'd turn heel, and then when he turned heel, he was the best. I thought I liked Hollywood Hogan more than I liked regular Hogan. Yeah, because he wasn't talking about prayers and vitamins. He was talking about cocaine and hookers. <laughs> That's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> cocaine and hookers is what's for breakfast. <sighs> um. Then, yeah, Oscar gets the win. And then after that was the main event, the first ever steel cage match in NXT of the champion Samoa Joe versus Finn Balor. This match wasn't the best they've had, but I still like a few of their spots. Like that top rope muscle buster was pretty cool. That's uh, when Amanda and I were watching it. Um, I even said once he hit the first muscle buster and he kicked out, I was like, "Got to take him off the top." It's either a coup de grace from the top of the cage, which I was really hoping he was going to do. But how do you kick out of that? Like, if he, if Joe's going to win, how do you kick out of a top rope? Oh, no. coup de if he hit that off of the top of the cage, that was that was the finish. Yeah, but also, yeah. man, there's a good chance he can break his ankle jumping that high and fucking up. You know? Oh yeah, he. Yeah. I'd rather him take a muscle buster than drop, unless you're Tyson Kidd, you know, than getting a coup de gras off the top and break your leg, you know? Yeah, Tyson Kidd, uh, get well? I heard rumors, like, I've heard some things that he might never wrestle again. Like, it's getting closer that he might never wrestle. I wouldn't be, it's been two years. It's so sad, man. He has so much talent. I mean, he's a, he's a fucking pussy on Total Divas, man, but he's such an amazing wrestler. He's not a pussy, he's Canadian. <laughs> so is Chris Jericho, and he's a rock star. The- Different part of Canada. <laughs> Winnip- <laughs> Winnipeg's not Calgary, okay? <laughs> Stupid idiotville. Dude, I want to get my Montreal Canadiens jersey that I just bought today. I want Kevin Owens to sign it. <laughs> Dude. Be tight. Get a Winnipeg Jets jersey and just put stupid idiot on the back. <laughs> Number one. Number one. <laughs> Number one stupid idiot. 
Uh, or zero. Zero. Oh, another thing from Raw, it was kind of funny how Cesaro said it from stupid idiotville, <laughs> Chris Jericho. Oh, he just looked like he motherfucker. <laughs> um, that was off on Alberto, Alberto Del Rio looking like a serial killer with a hammer. Uh, Del Rio is the fucking worst. He's totally going to win Money in the Bank. Uh, well, we'll have our predictions in about maybe fucking five minutes and we'll get to that. Um, then, so yeah, just Finn Balor lost again. So I'm assuming that means his call up is fucking imminent. Like it's going to happen. Well, we so, now know his, his going, his going away party. I, I can see him <laughs> doing what Samoa or uh, what Kevin Owens did. I can see him coming on, uh, the money in the bank pay-per-view and then also going back to take over for that. Uh, yeah. Well, that's already sold out by the way. Oh, of course it is, dude. If, I can, if you're Take done, over Brooklyn, we're on sale today. And, yeah. At and so it's already sold out? Sold out in like 20 minutes. Makes sense. NXT is a big fucking deal. It's a hot take. Like, it's just fucking like gone. All right. So before we like, you know, waste a whole bunch of time because we got a whole lot more show to do because we got the draft and we got uh, the predictions for the pay-per-view. Um so basically, NXT today was Ty Dillinger versus CN again, and Ty Dillinger got the balls in the face again and lost. Um, I think he's going up. Dillinger? Yeah. Oh, that'd be sick. I don't know, though, because I think the fans in WWE won't really be behind him as much as the fans in uh, NXT in full sale. That's two losses in a row, though, for him. It's like yeah. they're trying to kill that character all of a sudden. Yeah, well, he loses a lot, though, man. Ty Dillinger is one of those people who lose. Like It's like, it's like Tyler Breeze. He can lose and still be over. It's because Tyler Breeze is fucking amazing. Yeah, Tyler Breeze was really good in NXT. And even the little stupid gimmick he has with Fondango doing the whole Febreze thing. Like, Dude, Golden Truth has shirts. Yeah, you're telling me about that. They're amazing. What are they again? It's like the Step Brothers thing where they're like <laughs> sitting in really bad sweater vests inside a picture frame. On the oh. back it just says Golden Truth. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. <laughs> yeah, I wish they made it in a tank top though. I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. All right. Anyways. Uh, oh, wait, before we go on though, like the last thing oh. that the last thing that really mattered on NXT, oh. you know, um, was Finn Balor coming out and you know talking to the crowd saying, "What's next for Finn Balor?" Which he repeated like three fucking times. And then finally, Shinsuke Nakamura comes out. They shake each other's hands and they basically set up a match, which they don't say when, but I'm assuming it's going to be in Takeover. It's got to be in Takeover. They're not putting that shit on fucking. Yeah. There's no way. No, that match is going to – whoa. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. I'm very excited for that match. That could be match of the year easily. Just, I mean, they were was, already chanting match of the year. Yeah, I never heard that for a match that's never even happened. They're just standing in the ring. For a match like, that hasn't happened yet. Match of the year. Like, fuck, dude, it doesn't even exist yet. Fans like that piss me off. I, I love the wholesale, uh, full sale crowd. I love them, but like sometimes like that shit is ridiculous. Like, let them wrestle first before you actually say shit like that. Because what if it's a fucking bust? You know, what if something fucking shitty happens? Like the Joe Fal- uh, Balor match when Joe got cut open. That match fucking sucked. So, that match would suck. It's only because like they got they were bleeding and you couldn't do anything. If they let him bleed, that match would have been great. Just let him bleed everywhere oh, and fucking that wrestle. Match was fucking awesome. Yeah, it's in the, the fucking the uh, people who are running the referee shit in the back. I mean, they ruined that match. That sucks. It wasn't Finn's fault and it wasn't Joe's fault. It was the officials' fault. But I mean, what are you gonna do? So now that we're done with all that shenanigans, we're getting to the uh, pay per view money in the bank. They're saying it's a WrestleMania card, basically. And uh, yeah, man, I'm very I'm- excited about this. Uh, every, well, no, not every title is on the line. There are two titles not on the line. Yeah, the Women's Championship and the Intercontinental. Which is bullshit. Yeah, dude, I, I think it's bullshit because, like, dude, why is The Miz the champion if he's not going to be there? Fuck him, dude. He's not even that great of a champion. I love The Miz. I love Maurice. You know, I love what they're doing. But if he's not going to be there, drop the belt to somebody so they can actually have it on the card. You know, the Intercontinental title was my favorite belt for so long. You know, and it's just like, wow, they don't even give a fuck about it. They're going to have the Miz just be off TV. Oh, look at me. I'm on a fucking Skype conversation. Look at me. I'm on a movie. No one cares. No one gives a shit. Ah, it's annoying. It's real to me, damn it. I would have kept it on fucking Ryback if that's the case. <laughs> Jesus. Um, oh, that's right. He's gone. Yeah, Ryback's gone. He's never coming back. I mean, he's just too much of a pain in the ass. I mean, you can get other wrestlers who are bigger than him. I mean, because Ryback's a big dude, like beefy, but he's fucking short as fuck. He's like the monster Montanza. 
Yeah, but if you bring in somebody, which, you know, they're talking about bringing in Moose from Ring of Honor, Moose is a fucking beast, dude. That bull is just a monster. He's huge. That'll be cool. All right. I'm more excited about Roderick Strong if they bring him in, which they've been talking about doing. So, um, all right, man. Are we doing predictions, or do you have any thoughts on the pay-per-view before we do this? No, we can do it through predictions. All right. Well, uh, the first match, um, Apollo Crews versus Sheamus. Who do you guys got? We both took Cruz. Yeah, I think that's the, the consensus on that. Like, I think, I think that one's going to be a wash match. Yeah, I think everybody chose Cruz because, like, that's just. I mean, I think the first two matches are going to be everybody's going to pick. Um, you mean, you pick? I, I chose Cruz because, like, dude, he's a new guy. Dude, they don't they don't need Sheamus to win. But the thing that really does like not concern me, but makes me kind of think, WWE has always had a hard on for Sheamus. Triple H loves that dude. You know, they made him a champion recently, and that was fucking ridiculous. You know what I mean? So there's a possibility they can drag this feud out. So, yeah, I'm going to go with Cruz, but there's a possibility Sheamus can win. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'd be surprised. Yeah, I'd be too. Um, all right. Uh, then, well, what do you think about that buildup, though, like Cruz and Sheamus? It's, it's them basically taking the storyline of what they started the new era on and – Matchifying it. Okay. You mean I, I think it's cool. It's like, yeah, you're, you think you can take my spot? Oh, yeah, you can't take my spot. Blah 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 blah. And really, they haven't done anything with Cruz, so it's cool that they gave him a storyline finally. But yeah, yeah, I, I see him winning that, and then maybe Sheamus winning on Raw or something stupid like that. So everybody chose Apollo Cruz. Tina, Amanda, you and I all chose Cruz. Um, yeah. The next one. Dolph Ziggler versus Baron Corbin, the feud that would not die. No, it will not die. This is like match number five, isn't it? Yeah, they're beyond rubber matches. They should just do a two out of three falls for the kickoff. <laughs> the condom match, all rubber? <laughs> all rubber all the time. <laughs> Definitely not like the the show you're about to run, Raw. <laughs> all condom. Um, yeah, so I'm choosing Baron Corbin. Tina chose Corbin. Who are you guys choosing? Uh, Amanda chose Baron Corbin. Okay. I chose Dolph Ziggler. Oh, look at Nick. <laughs> All right. All right. So we but got... if I remember right, Ziggler kicked him in the dick. <laughs> he did so do I'm that. Pretty sure. Corbin's not going to be able to walk. <laughs> Corbin's going to get him with something. And DQs do count. So there yeah, you DQs go. Do count. Yeah, that might be your fucking deal breaker right there. But there's so many matches on here that um, – that it can go either way. I'm actually very excited about this. It's not like the last pay per view when we tried to predict and it was just like we already knew everybody was going to win, you know, besides the ladder match or the four way match. There's a lot of differences on here. Um, the next one, this match that has a shitty fucking build Natalia and Dana Brooke versus Becky Lynch and Charlotte. Um, I picked Natty and Becky Lynch. Okay. Amanda picked Charlotte and Dana. Okay, Nick. And who the fuck am I going to pick? Motherfucker, you didn't do this already? Not this match. I have all the other ones already in my head. I've been kind of going back and forth with this. I think I'm going to agree with you because I think Dana Brooke is actually like going to accidentally hit Charlotte. Nah, fuck. You're already in. Yeah, I'll go with it. Fuck it. <laughs> you're, you're written in Sharpie here. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually writing it over here too, which is funny. Um... Yeah, no, it's because like, dude, it's kind of it's kind of hard to see Charlotte lose twice, but with this, with this, like, Dana she can b- lose. She can lose because Dana can eat the pin. And she, fuck it, Charlotte can get pinned. Yeah, because like, say Dana hits her, you'd be like, oh yeah, you cost me the match, or say like, you know, uh, Becky Lynch tapped out Dana Brooke. Oh, you lost the match for us, you know, and that kind of has the storyline going on for the next pay per view where I think it's going to be Dana Brooke for Charlotte for the belt, just to have that match. So the next pay per view after that, SummerSlam, would be Sasha, who needs to hurry, hurry the fuck up and get back on TV for Charlotte. So she's I'll, on Superstars. No one watches Superstars. Um, I tried to watch Superstars. It's really hard. Yeah, I can't do it. I, I watch too much wrestling. Speaking of that, by the way, I found out that um, they're actually really going over thinking there might be two pay-per-views a month, one for SmackDown, one for Raw. I really don't like that idea. Neither does Tina. Tina fucking hated that idea. She's like, are you fucking kidding me? And they're talking, talking about making SmackDown three hours as well. Yeah, fuck that. I mean, I think they should both be two hours. I mean, yeah. 
there's already so much wrestling. You mean, come on. Like, I mean, we t- just for us doing podcasts, me, I'm a fucking nerd. So I love watching wrestling. You mean, I don't watch a lot of shows. I watch wrestling and sports. So, I mean, I'm, I mean, there's a few handfuls of shows I do watch, but wrestling's the main thing and sports is what I watch. So I'm all about it, but I can see Tina or my dad or, you know, a lot of other people just kind of zoning out and just kind of getting tired of it. Dude, three hours is a long time to watch wrestling. It is like I, I fast forward it a lot. Like I was kind of happy when the Sharks were in the playoffs still because I can watch the Sharks game. And then after that, I'd watch it because I watched my Raws at five or your Raws at eight. So that Sharks game's over. I can watch that when you're watching it at the same time. And I can just fast forward through the commercials and all the shitty matches I don't want to watch. So, OK, Amanda has Charlotte and uh, Dana Brooke and we all have Natalia and Becky Lynch. OK, uh, next match. This build has been all right for what it is. Uh, Rusev versus Titus O'Neil. Who do you got? Ruru. I have him as well. Tina has Titus O'Neil. Who's Amanda got? Ruru. <laughs> Ruru. 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 <laughs> it sounds like Scooby Doo. Ruru. <laughs> Dude, speak of Scooby Doo, tell me you saw the trailer for the Phantom Demon. I have not. What is it? Dude, Undertaker makes puppet jokes, and it's really The Undertaker. Oh, my God. I will have to watch it's, that. Lord, like, the day it comes out, I'm buying that motherfucker. I'm getting so high. Okay, I want you to do a review on it when you see it. Oh, it'll be a great review. Yeah, I will do. Be I will be doing a review of the Ring of Honor pay-per-view. I'm going to try to get it, because, I mean, you know me, I love Ring of Honor. So I'm going to try to, I think it's next week or the week after, I'm going to try to get that. So... Hopefully I can buy the shark's beanie for cheap so my dad can make that my uh, my uh, Father's Day gift instead. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. All right. Okay, tag team match. Uh, New Day, The Club, Enzo and Kaz, and The Vaude Villains. Who you got? Uh, Amanda picked Enzo and Kaz. So did Tina. Who did you pick? I chose The Club. Uh, and I picked The New Day. New day. See, there we go. There we go. Everybody picking new. Are things? we all different? Uh, no. Uh, uh, Tina and mean, Amanda chose uh, Enzo and Kaz. Where you chose New Day, and I chose the club. So it's kind dude, of. Dude, I'm telling you, I'm I'm thinking New Day won't lose it until SummerSlam because then they break the record of uh, Kendrick and London, correct? And they're trying to sue the company right now. What? Well, that's kind of hard for um, London might be, because I don't think Kendrick is, because Kendrick is going to be in the Cruiserweight Classic. Oh, well, then London's trying to do it. Yeah. Um, and also, Tajiri's going to be in that. Tajiri's going to be in the Cruiserweight Classic? Yeah. Sick. I was thinking about Tajiri the other week. I was like, where's Tajiri? I mean, it's what kind of cool. he doing? Yeah, it's kind of cool that they're bringing in older wrestlers to do that, too. I mean, because I know Brian Kendrick can still go, man. Spanky's amazing. Is uh, Tosh... <laughs> Was uh, Michinoku going to be in there? Talking Michinoku. I, I think he's in New Japan. I think he does stuff over there, I think. I could be wrong. But I think I saw something with him in there. Um, okay, so yeah, we got that going on. So everybody besides... Nobody likes the VOD villains. Poor VOD villains. Dude, they might end up being the winners. I hope so. You I mean, that'd be funny. I, I love the VOD villains. Tina likes the VOD villains. I mean, the VOD villains are cool. I like them. I mean, I, I think I like um, Simon Gotch a lot. I think he's a really entertaining wrestler but so is Aiden, Aiden English I think they're both a really good I wish you wouldn't do the singing thing yeah it's kind of ridiculous what I wish they could more of us see yeah that'd be cool hey but uh whatever happened to them coming on the black and white get black and white intro oh dog that's what happened when they came out to the black and white intro <laughs> yeah the dog is like cut it out I was like no no I don't like that yeah I man. think people didn't get it in the arena Mm-hmm. So they just took it away from the television. Makes sense. Yeah, I guess uh, my son's dog does not like it, which is a corgi chihuahua dachshund. Which Why I- would you just get a ball of energy and not name it Sonic? <laughs> uh, we named it Daisy after Princess Daisy from uh, Mario stuff. So Nerd. Yeah. I am a nerd. Yeah, I, I have the pit bull. He has the chihuahua. All <laughs> right. Uh, uh- Next match, which is going to be, I think this is going to be fun. Um, and depending on who picks who, I'll go last. And depending on who it is, um, I might change my pick. Last. You want me to go first? Yeah, I want you to go first. Okay, well, I'm going to the same person that Tina picked. And I told you my pick already on the phone a while ago. I'm going with Dean Ambrose for that triple threat for the Shield. Who do you got? 
Dean Ambrose. You got Ambrose? Yep. Oh, you son of a bitch. It makes me want to switch to Kevin Owens so we're not the same. Switch to Owens. Okay, I'll go Owens then. All right, Amanda's got Sami Zayn. Okay, cool. So you and Tina you got told Ambrose. Kevin Owens earlier, motherfucker. No, I said I think he will win, but I wanted Ambrose to win to do the sh- – well, it's weird because I want Ambrose to do that so they do the triple threat match. You know what I mean? But if I had to choose like my favorite, because like you mean the next two, the next two matches after this, I'm picking favorites. I'm not even picking who I think is going to win. I'm just going favorites. So I guess in the the last three, I'm doing favorites because Kevin Owens is my favorite anyway. So I'm going to go with Owens since you guys are both going Ambrose and I want it to be different. And um, yeah, and Zane for Amanda. Is it wrong that there's a part of me that really wants Y2J to win it? Yeah, you know what? There's a possibility, man, because he's never won it and he made the whole damn thing. And, dude, I would way rather have him win it than fucking Alberto Del Rio. If Alberto Del Rio wins this shit, <laughs> I will be fucking furious, dude. I will be so mad. I will be so mad. Zack Ryder the shit out of this match. Oh, my God. I know. That pissed me off, too. But I wasn't so mad about it because, like, you know, Zack deserved it, man. He's He's been there for so long, and he's been eating, like, a fucking big pile of shit for so long. Like, he deserved that shit. I mean, fuck it. I mean, if someone had to take the belt, I mean, I'm happy it was him. So, but, I mean, if Ambrose, or not Ambrose, if uh, Del Rio wins, I'm going to be fucking mad, dude. I'll be so pissed. Um, all right. The next match is the the match that everybody's wanted for 15 years. I thought Cena's only been there for 10 or 11 years, I thought. I don't know, but somebody should do some fact-checking. Yeah, because it doesn't seem right. But, um, yeah, it's uh, going to be the face that runs the place, John Cena, versus the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. Tina chose Styles. Who do you got? I pick Cena. Okay, Nick chose Cena. Who's the man I got? I know who she got. What? Yeah. Really? I was almost going to automatically put an A under fucking Cena just because I thought she'd go with him because she hates Styles. No. Okay, well, yeah, I'm going with Styles as well. I I don't like John Cena. I respect John Cena, but I like AJ Styles way more. So as a personal favorite, I'm taking him. The next one I'm doing the same thing as a personal favorite. I know he's not going to win it, but I'm going to go with him anyway. Uh, I'm going with Seth Rollins. Okay. What team you go with? Her fucking favorite wrestler, Seth Rollins. So I'm the only one that picked Roman Reigns? <laughs> yeah, you're the only one. Dude, you might be the champion this, this month, man. You might be the new champion. Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of up in the air. Like, Alberto Del Rio could really fuck us all. Oh, I know. I'm really going for Cor- <laughs> I'm really going for Corbin in that fucking pre-show match, so you can give me a fucking head start on you. <laughs> yeah. Well, everyone's Corbin but me. Another match, another match that's really going to really make a make it or break it for you is going to be that Cena match, just because you said it's like you mean a lot of rumors that Cena's going to win, but I have a hard time Cena seeing Cena win the first one. I see him winning the next few, but I have a hard time seeing him win the first one. I think the club's going to go for a queen, a fucking a clean sweep, and win the belt and beat fucking John Cena. You got to establish the club. We'll see. We will see. All right, so that is the predictions, and we will find out on next week who the new champion is. Right now it is I. I am the champion, and we'll find out who's the new champion, or still me, next week. Um, now is time. Oh, you little fuck. <laughs> I've, won two, I've won two months in a row. What can I say? Uh, <laughs> um, I could slap you through the screen, I would. <laughs> Skype slap. Stop drawing. So now it's come time for the thing we've been really excited about doing. This is going to be the Wrestling Gremlins podcast draft. Since I'm the champion, I get to go first. Be here a minute, so, you know, get I'm, cozy. I'm very excited. So I get to go first, and um, I've been going back and forth with this all the last two weeks. You don't have to write them all. There's going to be a lot of names. I'm going to write them for my side and your side, so I'm going to – okay. Um, well, how about you write yours, and I'll write mine. I already got my first-round pick picked. Uh, you well, you better hope. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with the man, Seth Rollins. That is mine. That's my first number one pick. I really just feel like you want to suck his dick. No, I just think he's good. I just think he's the best guy they have right now. You I mean he's money? Like, look at the fucking response he got when he came back and fucking dropped reins. People went ape shit for that. Okay. Uh, who's, who's roll. next? Pick number one. Smackdown. Raw. Okay, go. 
John Cena. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, at least my uh, my other pick, my other pick was going to be Kevin Owens. So I'm hoping I still get him. So now, now it's up to the uh, now it's up to the fucking the the, the many faced gods that belong in the hat. There you go. All right, pick my guy. Pick my pick my dude. All right, and Amanda will pick, so it's fair. It's going to be Kane. <laughs> Who is it? Amanda, get the goddamn be screen so I know you're not cheating. Second pick will be David Otunga. Oh, my God. Are you serious? Oh, my God. David Otunga. I swear. Uh, I already feel like this is rigged. <laughs> I promise you it's not. Do you want to watch the process? I do. <laughs> Come on, Amanda. Come on, you're like the Vanna White of this. Pick up, pick these fucking cards. Okay, who's got? Who's Nick got? Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman. Okay, so this comes out a really, really funny part. You were talking about if you get somebody, you can keep them together. Um. Or are we just going by name by name at this point? I'm gonna go name by name. Okay. Right, okay, Strowman. Okay, so so far I better have a better guy than Otunga because Seth versus Otunga sounds like a horrible match. All right, Bobby's next pick is Big Show, <laughs> Byron Saxon, Mark Henry. I could deal with Mark Henry. I can deal with that as long as he's heel. How uh, fucking uh, the uh, the um, what's it called? Um, what's the whatever pain? No, you get sexual assault with Mark Henry. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine with that too. <laughs> Oh, it's sexual, baby. All right, my next pick. Simon Gotch. <laughs> Butterscotch, Simon Gotch. Simon uh, Gotch. All right, Bobby, here we go. All right, number four. Let's get the shitty ones out of the way. JBL. The New Day. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to keep them together, so you get three picks in a row. Okay. Bobby has kept the New Day. New Day. I, I'm, I'm good with I that. Get three in a row. Okay. And I won't pick them all at the same time. I'm going to pick one and read. I don't understand. Don't you get like four, four five, and six? Yeah. The Dudley Boys. Are you keeping them together? Yeah, I'll keep the Dudley boys. Okay, so that's four and five right there. All right, get one more. Who you got? <laughs> Stephanie McMahon. Eric Rowan. Oh my god! <laughs> that happened. I got I got the job squad of the Wyatts. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm gonna get Harper and Bray. <laughs> I'll be really, really unhappy if you get both of those. <laughs> oh, that's great. All right, who I got? Who I got? Who does he get? Who does I get? Who is it? I don't like that smile. I feel Nick. like Nick is just like going through it. Like, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> okay. No, I'm not going through it. Bobby's next pick is Michael Cole. Stephanie McMahon. Is she really in the? Is she really in this? Yeah. What? She don't even wrestle her. Yes, she is. She's a woman's champion. Fine. I guess I got ugly tits, McMahon. <laughs> <laughs> Twerking out those babies. Okay. My next pick oh, is. You. Austin Aries. Oh, how'd you get Austin Aries? I got Stephanie McMahon. <laughs> That's bullshit. You got the New Day. That's true. I do you got, got New Day. That work competition strong. Nick too got a new day, and I got Seth Rollins. So many fucking things go through. God, we have so many fucking horrible wrestlers so far. <laughs> but besides like Aries, New Day, Dudleys, I mean, I don't know, man. I like Simon Gosh, so I mean, that's kind of disappointing. And eh, I mean, they're not horrible, but I don't know. There's no big names yet. <laughs> oh God, I don't even like that laugh. <laughs> I don't even like Sorry, it. Buddy. <laughs> who, who do I get? He's gonna want a recount. <laughs> I'm gonna watch. I want to fucking watch this. I, I only see his Nick's head. I don't see where all these fucking picks are going. This is kind of scares me a little bit. <laughs> Bobby's next pick is <laughs> Corporate Kane. Summer oh, Ray. Are you serious? Summer Ray. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my Here. god. If you get Paige right now, I'm gonna be very butthurt. <laughs> hey, you at least have divas. I have no women on my roster. 
I hope you get Eva Marie. I'll take an Eva Marie. Hmm. I hope you get Lana. Don't is you fuck my pick? pick? Why is she in there? Yeah. My pick? Yeah. Don't don't even Bailey. say that's what I just heard. You got Bailey? I got Bailey. I got Summer Rain. You got Bailey. What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh my god. Do we get to do trades? <laughs> All All right. Right. So I'll trade you some people for fucking stuff for Bailey. Dolph Ziggler. I can do. I can do all right with Ziggles. <laughs> get that zigzag. Yeah. I can get that zigzag. All right, I can deal with Ziggler. Okay. Who else? <laughs> Who's next on this list of fucking bullshit? Triple H for you. Wait. I get Triple H. You get Triple H, and I get Stephanie. What the fuck is that? Hey, at least they're broken up. Yeah, well, they can bury both people on both shows. <laughs> got the Barry Squad. I hope I get Shane if I got Stephanie at least. He is in there. Okay. Is a uh, Undertaker's in there, right? Yes, he is. Okay. Bobby's next pick is Kalisto. Eh, all right. I can have him face against Dolph at this point. Hope you get fucking Bosch Kara. Bosch Kara. Who'd you get? Neville. Oh, you got Neville? Hey, you got a high flyer. I'll trade you in a heartbeat for Neville. <laughs> Neville for Kalisto. I'll trade you all day. I like Kalisto, but he's no Neville. All right, who's next? Who goes? How do uh, you-, who? you get gold dust. Gold dust? Why is that a big deal? <laughs> I like gold dust. <sighs> I'll trade you Bailey for Gold Dust or Austin Aries. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you must not like Gold Dust that much. All right. This is my pick? Yes. Sorry. I want to see the hat. I don't want to look at you. This is I don't trust I your face. The Miz. <laughs> okay, you got the Miz. There I you like, go, Bobby. I like your show a little bit better so far. My show is pretty awesome. Yeah, your show's pretty good. I mean, I have a few pretty good guys, but... You're not even looking at the hat that you asked to see. And I'm looking at Amanda somehow. I want to see the hat. Okay. Finn Balor. You I got, got Finn Balor? Balor. Okay, I can deal with that. Now it's getting good. Now I got Finn and Seth. Fuck yeah. There we go. Why am I looking at the top of Amanda's head? Because <laughs> I don't know what this fucking camera is. <laughs> I really particularly don't want to check her for lice. <laughs> Jimmy Uso. <laughs> do you want the both the Usos or just Jimmy? Yeah, do you want both or just him? <sighs> Might as well take the Usos. Okay, I like that. Give me two picks. Usos. Usos. Okay, so I get 13 and 14. Come on, Owens. The Ascension? You get the Ascension, and that just <laughs> took 13 and 14. I don't know if I want both those losers. <laughs> Uh, fuck, I need tag team, so yeah, I'll take them. Okay. Uh, ass face sension. Sentia. I don't have to hold this fucking thing. I know. Fine, I'll, I just know that it's I, I not rigged. See okay, my hands? Yes, I trust you. Unless I get Big Show and Kane back to back, I don't. <laughs> then, then I feel it's rigged. All right, who's next? Who's pick number 14? Yeah, this is Xavier Woods, but he already got the new guy. Oh, he's got the... <laughs> you, don't get, you don't get Francesca? Nope. You don't pick get Xavier Woods? Pick again. Kevin Owens. Oh, you cocksucker. <laughs> I'll give you Xavier Woods. I don't want Xavier Woods. I uh, have Kevin Owens. God damn it. Kevin Owens, son of a bitch. This is why I shouldn't have picked a fucking Ascension. I blamed them already. Okay. Hey, you get the golden truth. Oh, I got our truth. You get Kevin Owens. I get fucking our truth. <laughs> yeah, I'm really happy about that one. My 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 lineup's definitely looking like SmackDown of right now. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, I get Curtis Axel. Oh. You get the Axe Man. I get the Axe Man. Axel. Okay, that's not bad. Another jobber. I want Bo Dallas if that's gonna be the case. Or he's Slater, baby. The social uh, 
You get the social outcast, so you can have Heath Slater and Bo Dallas. Mm. We already have Curtis Axel. Yeah. We'll all get you all three, and oh. I'll just take three picks. I do not want Axel. I'm going to break him up. I'm taking Bo. Okay. Bo Dallas. So I hopefully get, if I get Bray, they can have a feud. So Heath Slater stays in there. No, that's out. Just Heath Slater's name's in there. Ha! I get no way, Jose. No way, Jose. No Dude, way. Dude, his shirt's awesome. I haven't seen it. It's just it's just his smiling face that says no way, Jose, behind it. I don't know why that sounds so awesome, but <laughs> I have to see it. Bobby gets Jack Swagger. Ah, uh, Jack Swagger. I'd rather get fucking uh, Zeb Coulter. <laughs> God, I have like the, the fucking jobber lineup. Next pick for me, the Wyatt family. Okay, well, you already, already have two of them. Two, so I'm just going to take them all. You You're two take picks. Them all? Okay, so that's, that's 17 and 18. Bray. And Harper. Harper. Yeah. Which sucks because there goes my fucking Bo Dallas feud. Yeah, it does. Okay, 18 and 19. Give me some good picks, Amanda. Okay. Give me some of that moose magic. Who the fuck is Aiden yeah, English? You get Aiden English. Ah, uh, but you got Butter Scotch Simon Gotch. Okay. But you got the one that sings. Yeah, but you have my other... I like the, I like the other guy better. English. But he's still good. I can deal with that. Exactly. Okay, English. One more pick. You got Luke Harper. Well, you have Harper. You get... Ty Dillinger. Oh, I'm 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 down with that. I can take Ty Dillinger. I figured you'd be a happy with Ty. Okay. It's better than getting swagger in English. Kofi Kingston's already done. Yeah, Kofi's I got out. I got the I got the new day. Dean Ambrose. That's a good pick for you, Dean Ambrose. I wonder who's gonna get fucking Reigns. Oh God. Uh, I think Reigns and Seth are on Raw, and Cena and AJ will go to SmackDown. Well, I mean for us, not for that. Oh. I don't even know what it is. Oh, that's out too. That's out. Good. You would have gotten Bray Wyatt. Oh, that sucks. I get kind of scared when a man is like, I don't even know who oh, this is. <laughs> oh, Bobby, I'm jealous of this pick. Oh, God, it's Big Show. <laughs> the Hype Bros. Ah, oh, fuck my life. Hype Bros? <laughs> Um, I'll, I'll keep, fuck, um, I'll take Ryder out of that. I don't want to, I want to split him up. So I'll take Ryder. I'm about to do a dick move and get this Houndsy Sharks beanie with about three seconds left. I already got that. I already have Cena. I already have John Cena. You do have John Cena. Biggie's out because of the new day. Biggie's out. Mm -hmm. Biggie's on my team. He's already out because he's a deadly. Yep. Yeah, we got all the fucking people we already picked out. That's good. Apollo Cruz. You got Cruz. Yeah. That's a good pick. Okay. See in there. Bobby gets Carl Anderson. Um, that means I get the club, right? No, you just drew Carl Anderson's name, not the actual club's what? name. What? Oh, I just won that beanie, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I'll take Carl Anderson though. I like I like him. You have I already him. have him. Okay, sorry. <laughs> and uh, I get. Who'd you get Chad Gable. Oh, you dick face. That kind of sucks because like, <laughs> yeah, dude, I will you, take Chad Gable. I would name. laugh. I would laugh really hard if you get Gallows and I get Jordan. Gable. <laughs> oh, and you get. Who do I get? Natalia Neinhardt. Ah, uh, Natty? You got some Natty. I'm getting all the shitty girls. Well, I like Natty, though. She's all right. This is for me. This? Colin Cassidy. Oh, yeah, Kaz? Yeah. Big Kaz. Now I'm going to get Enzo and fuck your day up. We might, have to do some, we might have to do some trades after this. Bobby gets <laughs> oh, Rosa Mendez. Are you serious? <laughs> the bitch who's never won a match? <laughs> How the fuck do I get Prego Rosa? She had the babies. Yeah, you had a baby. You had a baby out of this one. 
I feel bad for the baby. I draw. I'm just kidding, Rosa. Brock just kidding. Lesnar. Are you kidding me? I get Rosa <laughs> Mendez and you get Brock Lesnar? I'm sorry. I swear, like, I'm not rigging this. I'm not. I'm, I'm just saying it's a fucking horrible picks for me. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, The Undertaker's still in there. Yeah. You got Brock. I do have Brock. I have the one in the under. Literally, he never really has ever beaten Brock. He's beaten like four times. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Number 24 for us. Heath Slater? Didn't you already get Heath Slater? No, I broke him up. <laughs> Somehow oh. still, he just won't leave. <laughs> you got Heath Slater. Thanks. <laughs> one man band, baby. <laughs> Slater Gator. Nia Jax for you. Ooh, I got Nia Jax. Uh, Nia Jax. I better get like Oscar or something. Nia Jax. Because so far I have Summer Rae and Natty, and that's they hate each other on Total Divas, shit, but that's man. as far as it goes. 25. Bobby's next pick? Yes. Millions of dollars. Which one? Titus O'Neil. Okay, and I can, I can bring back Slater Gator at least. Slater Gator. <laughs> Titus O'Neil. That's funny, I got Slater, then I got Titus right after another, so. My pick, Luke Gallows. Ah, dick face. You've jinxed yourself. Yeah, well, don't worry. I'm going to get fucking uh, Jordan, and I'm going to get uh, Enzo, so it's okay. Those brothers are out already. Okay. <laughs> Come on, AJ. You get Rusev. I get Ruru? You got Ruru. Rusev. Okay, you get The Undertaker. <laughs> I get Rusev, you get The Undertaker. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I think this is rigged. It's not rigged. It's not rigged, <laughs> I promise you. But this Ever? sheet is very full. I know, I, I need another piece of paper. Right on the back. <laughs> Samoa Joe. You get oh, Samoa okay. Joe. Okay, okay, now I feel it's a little bit better. I got Samoa Joe. I can deal with that. Okay. So... Feel a little better? A little bit. I think you had to give me one. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. <laughs> you already got Bo Dallas, right? I do have Bo Dallas. I'll trade you Bo Dallas for Brock Lesnar. I get the Revival. Okay, you keeping them together? Fuck yeah. That's a good pick. Revival. That is a very good pick. Uh, revival. Revival. I'm right here. Okay. 28 and 29. Okay. Who we got? Jericho. Y2J. Sweet. Y2... Yeah. Wait, that's actually on the wrong side. Y2J. I can deal with that. Okay, who's my other pick? It's a Dudley. I'm already done. You already got a Dudley. Yeah, you already got the Dudleys. Yeah. Well, you have AJ the good list. And AJ Styles. Yeah, finally some good picks. AJ Styles, I can deal with that shit. I can Jericho and Styles on that fucking pick. Well, good job. Wait, wait. No, no, that's for him because I took the revival. You have 27, 28. Yeah. Yeah, we're on 29 now. It's your turn. If it's my turn, then I drew AJ Styles. No, because you chose the revival is 27 and 28. So I'd be 29 first, and now it's your turn at 29. Oh. So he's got that. Okay. Uh, I draw Shinsuke Nakamura. Oh, dick. You just got Jericho and AJ. I would trade you for Nakamura. Shit. Yeah, I don't... No, I want to see Shinsuke fight The Undertaker. That'd be a fun match. Shinsuke. <laughs> Bobby. Big show. The blue brand has just gotten a whole lot redder. Oh, my God. Eva Marie. Yeah, buddy. Oh, God. Okay, Eva. Now you're going to get Sasha Banks. Oh, boo. No, I got Tyson Kidd. <laughs> the guy who can't even wrestle? Are we even going to count him? Yeah, damn right we are, because I need better people. <laughs> if I'm getting Eva Marie, you better count Tyson Kidd. God damn you. You get Randy Orton. Nah, I can take that. I guess Orton's okay. He'll get the girls moist with his weird fucking construction beard. I draw. Oh, he ain't soft. Oh, you got Enzo? Yeah, buddy. Okay. That's fine. Alexa Bliss? 
Oh, Pastor. Okay. Alexa Bliss can work. I can work with Alexa Bliss. So hopefully, Alexa Bliss is great. Don't be jealous of Alexa Bliss. I'm hoping you get Blake and Murphy. <laughs> you get... Murphy! <laughs> Corbin. Uh, yeah, Corbin. Aaron Corbin. Corbin. Okay, 33. The Lucha Dragons, but Kalisto's already gone, so you get Sin Cara. Mm, yeah, you get Sin Cara. That sucks. You got Botch Cara. Yeah, I got Botch Cara. I got the fucking Botch of Dragons. Okay. Who do you got for 33? Oscar. Oh, how did I get Sin Cara and you got Oscar? Because you made fun of the gods of Sin Cara and you called him Botch Cara. You got Kane. You got Kane. Oh, whoopee doo. I get Kane. It's not, it's not corporate Kane. It's just Kane. I'd rather it would be corporate Kane. At least he's funny. <laughs> I can put corporate Kane. Do you want corporate Kane? No, I'll, just, I'll go back and forth with him. Oh, boo. I got Darren Young. <laughs> At least that's good for me. He's, yeah, he's going to be great again. Don't worry about it. <laughs> no, he won't. <laughs> You got Dana Brooke. Ah, oh, fucking A. I don't even like What's wrong with Dana Brooke? I don't like Dana Brooke. Why? Because she's genetically superior than Charlotte? <laughs> no, she just cause looks like Miss Piggy that can do flips. Oh, boo. <laughs> boo. <laughs> I got the big show. Man, hey, I got Kane, so shut up. <laughs> okay, at least at least the great call Lee's out in this draft. Fucking damn it, really? Yep. Yeah. You get Jason Jordan. Yeah, I told you that was gonna happen. Jason Jordan. You trade me. You trade me, Carl. You trade. Hey, you trade me Gallows. I'll give you fucking Jordan. You already picked Ryder. You already got Zack Ryder. I do. Um, have Ryder. Watch now. You're gonna get somebody hella good. You're gonna get like Roman Reigns or something. This is life. You get Maurice. You got Maurice. I got Jordan. Yeah. That's you, buddy. Oh, <laughs> you get Maurice. M A R. Okay. What am I gonna do with that? Um, Beat her to Oscar. Carmella. You, you get Carmella. <laughs> oh, okay, I got Carmella. That's all right. Carmella. Who you got? Tyler Breeze. Okay, that's good for you. Keep it breezy. Keep it breezy, Beezy. 38. Tim, we're already on 38. Roman Reigns. <laughs> Who, Bobby? Bobby. I got Roman Reigns. You got Roman Reigns. Roman. He's just not a good guy. He's not a bad guy. He's just a really shitty wrestler. He's not a shitty wrestler. He's just a no. shitty actor. Yeah, that's a good point. He's not. He's actually gotten a lot better in the ring. It's just kind of hard because, like, dude, if you put him like the two people he was with, like Ambrose and Rollins, it kind of shows that he's not a great wrestler, but he's better than half the other guys on the roster. I get Nikki Bella. Good for you. <laughs> you get Nikki Bella. Hey, look at the bright side, man. You got John Cena, so they can bang on the bus. You get Alicia Fox. I'll, I'll take that crazy ass. She's fucking nuts. Oh, that's fine. My women's division is getting crazier and crazier as we speak. Fandango. Oh, at least you get to keep Febreze together. Yeah, mm -hmm. I get Febreze. Fandango. Okay. Number 40. Cesaro. Yes. What? Cesaro. Okay. Rough. There you go. I don't want Charlotte. 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 Okay. Vince McMahon. You get Vince McMahon. I get Vince. Sweet. <laughs> All the things I'm going to have Vince do. <laughs> Everybody's fired that I don't like. Rosa, you're fired. Yes. <laughs> or kiss his ass first, then fired. Page. Uh, page. I want a page. You just got Vince McMahon, Cesaro, and Alicia Fox. <laughs> yeah, you got con. Yeah, you got the Ascension. Yeah, thank God. I have to choose those fuckers again. Bobby gets Alberto Del oh, Rio. Del Rio. Somebody's going to get Sami Zayn soon. It's probably going to be you because I just said it. Uh, who did he pick as his first? No, we got him already. Yeah, you already got him. I was like, no, I think that one's already picked. Who? Rollins? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's that, nah, it's not. It's your turn, so let's leave for me. He's list anymore. Okay. Sasha Banks. Oh, yeah. 
Sasha. You get all the good girl wrestlers. I'm very I have fucking Maurice. He gets Becky Lynch. You get Becky. Uh, okay, I can deal with Becky. Bex with Becky. Lux. Yeah, she's excellent. Wow. You get Lana. Hey, you, get Lana. The cold fish. you get the fish. <laughs> you get the cold fish. Lana. Nick gets Lana. I get Becky, you get Lana. I guess that makes up for Sasha. Seamus. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it went back down here. Dude, you almost got pints and potatoes. Uh, who else do I need for pints and potatoes? I got Finn. I got Seamus. I got Becky Lynch. This is already out. So, and the final pick of the Party Gremlins draft. Who would be Sami Zayn? Uh, he's not in here. He's not in there. What? No, I guess he's not in there. I thought he was in here. I'll pick him up in free agency. <laughs> I haven't made a free agents list. Hmm. How did we not get Sami Zayn? All right, well, the he winner. The I printed the list. I guess I missed it. So, I get Naomi. Okay, you got Naomi? Boo. So here's what we'll do then, since we missed Sami Zayn. You forgot Tamina. Is Tamina still there? Yeah, she's with, uh, what's her name? With uh, Naomi all the time. Uh, 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 all right, okay. well, those two are free agents. Okay, I'll take the Zayn. The winner of Money <laughs> in the Bank, oh, the get title, that. and those two wrestlers. I'll take Zayn. I'll let you keep Tamina. No, you get both. I'll let you keep Tamina if I win. <laughs> Both. Uh, okay. Is there anybody else we're forgetting? I don't think so. I mean, we, there's seriously 88 wrestlers we just picked. Yeah. A shit ton of wrestlers. Yeah. Okay. And there's about to be a whole hell of a lot more. Yeah, there will be. Bobby Roode's going to come up. I mean, boy, I made to the main roster. But anywho, let's go over our fucking picks. We'll start with Monday Night Raw with Nick. He has John Cena. Uh, he wait, has, wait, wait, wait. Just, you want to go over all these? We just did that. Well, I'm to get in order so we actually know who everybody has. So you have John Cena, Braun Strowman, Simon Gotch, the Dudleys, Eric Rowan, Austin Aries, Bailey, Triple H, Neville, The Miz, The Usos, Kevin Owens, Curtis Axel, No Way Jose, Bray Wyatt, Luke Harper, Dean Ambrose, Apollo Crews. Uh, you got Gable, you got Big Kaz, Brock Lesnar, Nia Jax. Luke Gallows, The Undertaker, The Revival, uh, Shinsuke Nakamura, Tyson Kidd, Enzo Amore, Baron Corbin, Asuka, Darren Young, The Big Show, Maurice, Tyler Breeze, Nikki Bella, Fon Dango, Charlotte, Paige, Shasa Banks, Lana, and Naomi. That is raw. And for SmackDown that I am running, I got Seth Rollins, David Otunga, Mark Henry, The New Day, Stephanie McMahon, Summer Rae, Dolph Ziggler, Kalisto, Goldust, Ben Balor, The Ascension, Our Truth, Bo Dallas, Jack Swagger, Aiden English, Ty Dillinger, Zack Ryder, Carl Anderson, Natalia, Rosa, Heath Slater, Titus O'Neil, Rusev, Samoa Joe, Chris Jericho, AJ Styles, Eva Marie, Randy Orton, Alexa Bliss, Sin Cara, Kane, Dana Brooke, Jason Jordan, Carmella, Roman Reigns, Alicia Fox, Cesaro, Vince McMahon, Alberto Del Rio, Becky Lynch, and Sheamus. And when I was reading that off, I also noticed that you did not put Shane McMahon in there, which you said you did. I thought he was in there. Yes, he is not. Dude, do you know how long ago I made this fucking list and cut it up? It's been sitting in the hat on my floor. Well, I'm not saying you did wrong. I mean, I'm just saying he's not in there. I just noticed it. All right. Well, then there's there's no, the third free agent. Tina Tina said you did bad. <laughs> You're so, laying on a couch doing nothing. She's playing um, Super Smash Brothers on the Wii U. <laughs> whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> well, man, right. we will see everybody next week, and we will see how we did for Money in the Bank. you have anything else to say before we go? Yeah. Spade hmm. new to your pets. Okay, Bob Barker. Always <laughs> always follow us on Twitter under Wrestle Gremlin for the Wrestling Gremlins podcast. You can find us on Facebook under the Wrestling Gremlins podcast. Always listen to us on YouTube and SoundCloud. And with that being all said, wish you all a good night. Cheap pop. Yeah. Dog dick. Mm-hmm.